So Google is getting into the bank account game. Yes, they're now going to be offering, well, upcoming checking accounts. So this is a very interesting thing. I'm, I'm very skeptical. We're going to talk about uh, why they plan to do this, how they're planning to do it, and uh, some obviously criticisms that it's been facing. There are quite a few. I mean, I don't know if I would trust Google with my bank account information. But uh, so before we get started, though, be sure to like the video, because as you, I mentioned before in other videos, I'm kind of relaunching this channel to be talking more about news. And since this channel has been inactive for a while, we kind of have to wake up the algorithm a bit. So be sure to like the video and that way the uh, YouTube algorithm will know that this channel is active again. And also, if you want to, you can check out uh, the Theojo Discord channel. It's a lot of fun. We got lots of topics in here. We got the tech channel. We got the TV, movies, books channel. We got the general channel. It's a lot of fun. I haven't really mentioned it that many times before, but it's uh, I'm usually in there uh, at least looking at it every day, occasionally chatting in there. So let's get into this, though. So this is from Ars Technica. And it says, uh, checking accounts will be, rich, will be a rich data trove. Google says it will keep to itself. I don't know. And it's they, they're claiming they won't sell the data. They won't sell the data, but they're sure as heck going to use it. And uh, that's probably the big criticism I have of it. So we can read this. It says Google is working to launch consumer checking accounts next year. And it's a project that's codenamed Cash. <laughs> uh, ironically, that's, that's funny. I wonder if that's on purpose. But it's not going to be branded as Google bank accounts. It's not like you're going to be like sign going on uh, Google Pay and it's like, oh, I got a Google bank account. They're specifically going to be uh, carrying the branding of Citibank and some Stanford, uh, uh, what's the name, term, credit union. So obviously that's because Google probably doesn't want to get into an entire new industry from the ground up it's a lot easier to just partner with another company and have them do all the legwork and basically be able to just kind of exchange whatever benefits i don't know what they're getting out of this specifically but uh it says that they're still hammering out the details including whether they're going to have fees i mean i would really hope that bank accounts don't have fees otherwise there's not really that much reason to even get one of these google accounts it's like don't people already have bank accounts i would hope so and it, this is kind of scary. It literally says, Google says, uh, our approach is going to be to partner deeply with banks in the financial system. It's like, do we really want Google getting their hands in yet another pie? I don't know. I don't know if I trust them that much. It's like, they already collect up so much data. Uh, well, I mean, it's like, what else does it matter? They're getting huge. But this is the real uh, interesting section where they're talking about, uh, they call it the data machine. So it's Google says they want to bring value to consumers, banks, and merchants with services that could include loyalty programs. I personally think they're going to need a lot more than some loyalty programs to get people interested enough to sign up for a Google account. It's not like they're Apple who has a customer base that just buys everything they they offer out. Google has they have a long line in their graveyard of products that they put out and nobody uses. So it's like I don't know just loyalty programs i don't see that as a reason for signing up for a whole google account and here's the interesting thing it says uh google does not intend to sell checking account uh customers financial data it says they t does not intend to sell that's that's some corporate speak right there and uh google has already said they do not sell your personal information to anyone but look at this we use data to serve you relevant ads in Google products. That's what they're doing. They're still using the data. You better believe it. They're still collecting as much as they can. They're just not selling it to other companies, but they're still going to use all of their Google partners or let other Google partners use it to advertise to. So it's like, does it really make a difference if they're, they're selling it or just letting everyone use it? I don't think so. So here's the exact point I just made. It says the company is large enough. Uh, with enough enough enterprise under its umbrella for users to have a legitimate concern about data use by Google inside Google. It's like they have so many partners. It's such a huge company. It's like, does it really matter if they're not selling it outside of that? It, it's already being used in such a broad way. Your data is being collected. It's not private in any way. And it says earlier this week, the Wall Street Journal reported that Google, Google is hovering up healthcare financial data from tens of millions of patients potentially adding the field criticisms blah 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 it's too big uh, so yeah they're collecting as much data in as much industries as they can and i guess just to be able to sell better ads if they 
know now what you're buying specifically, where you're spending your money. I mean, that's gonna probably be extremely valuable if, um, cause I don't know how Google works in terms of, I mean, I know they have like widgets you can put in your ads on your websites. So, and probably be able to track and get a good idea of who's buying what from what websites. But I mean, if Google can then now have from your straight from your bank account info info where you're spending your money i mean imagine how valuable that would be to merchants to be able to advertise to consumers who have been spending their money at competitors who have been spending their money with that specific merchant and now you can be able to upsell i mean this is probably invaluable for google and uh but that would only be for people who specifically i guess sign up for one of these accounts but who knows maybe google will even partner with these banks to collect data that isn't specifically with google branded i don't even know if that's possible if that's complete speculation but clearly they're going to be using this data for ads like i mean i think a vast majority of google's and or alphabet's revenue is from google ads i mean they are the king of ads they always have been and i think if I recall, at least at some point, it's like a small fraction of their actual revenues from these other projects. And really it's all from Google ads. So the fact that they can find even more ways to make money from you just based on information is pretty crazy. So they're now getting healthcare information. They wanna be able to get financial information. And I don't really see the benefit though of why you would wanna sign up for this. Now in the past, obviously Google already has Google Pay, and apparently this would kind of tie in with Google Pay. So it'd be like a bank account, but you can already deposit money into Google Pay. I don't really know how this is gonna be different, but in the past, Google has offered some other financial services like the Google Wallet Card. I'll make the video bigger so you can see this. I loved this thing. It's discontinued now. Even though this thing expires in, uh, at the end of next year, I don't think it works anymore. But basically, this would allow you to deposit uh, money in your Google Pay account and then withdraw this use this to withdraw it like a debit card But what was unique about this and what I don't believe any other bank account service has ever offered as a replacement Since this was discontinued is they would basically allow instant deposits and more importantly instant withdrawals So they would basically front the money for you because ACH transfers from bank accounts take like three days so if you were to transfer money to like Venmo or PayPal or whatever even if you have one of their cards uh, you would have to wait for that uh, transfer to completely clear. But with this, they would basically just have trusted you that the you were good for the money, unless of course at some point you uh, your deposit bounced, then they would withdraw this feature. But you could withdraw, you could deposit to this and then immediately withdraw. So what I would do was basically use this as kind of a buffer between my bank account and not have to have a debit card from my bank that would allow someone theoretically to if they stole it to withdraw all their money so i would deposit some money onto the google wallet like a hundred bucks as i'm like walking up to an atm machine and then be able to withdraw it immediately and then that way even if someone ever stole this card they wouldn't have any money on it because they didn't have the app that i was using to deposit the money into it so i had done that and uh it was pretty cool and pretty nice and i don't think there's any other uh a service that offers that where they would literally front the money for you and so it'd be interesting to know i doubt it if there was some sort of features they were going to be offering like that uh, that would be kind of cool might make it worth it for some people but i don't know if that would be enough for someone to like sign up for like oh i want the instant deposits i mean there's so many other uh services out there that are similar enough and it's like do you really need yet another bank account I don't know, I probably don't need it. I have like Venmo where I can do a similar thing. I just have to wait a few days. So really it's just a matter of, you know, putting in a little bit extra money. So like maybe a few hundred dollars instead of $100 and just plan ahead. I don't know, uh, but I do think it's kind of scary that Google is uh, just really getting into so many different uh, industries for the sake of just making money. I mean, that's a business, it makes sense. That's what they're designed to do, but you would think that uh, there might be some regulations to protect against this. You don't really know. And apparently this is talking about how even though there's a lot of regulations with the like consumer bank accounts, it's kind of like a gray area with things like Google Wallet or Google Pay where they're like digital accounts, but they're not technically bank accounts, I don't think. 
So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And I think Google is really just going to be taking advantage of it and start selling ads to people. So I don't know how I like that. I don't think I personally would sign up for this. Let me know what you would do. Uh, what features would it have to have for you to be willing to sign up for this? That would be pretty interesting because I don't think these loyalty programs, I mean, so many companies have their own loyalty programs and that's all just to be able to collect information. So I don't know, this doesn't seem appealing to me, but you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, so also, I guess that's all I have to say about this, but also be sure to subscribe and like the video again to kind of wake up the algorithm for this channel. And if you want to let me know down in the comments, that'd be awesome. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll try to make more videos about this, at least, a, uh, not about this, on this channel, at least once a week. I'm going to try and increase the frequency, so it should be interesting. So if you have feedback, let me know too. And I guess that's it. Have a good one.